What's up everybody, Kyle here at Let's Talk Whack with a brand new episode of Predicting Superstars. In this series, I gathered career minor league stats from past and present MLB superstars and created a formula to see how current minor league prospects and MLB rookies measure up. Stay tuned. In every episode of Predicting Superstars, I choose one past or present MLB superstar, one MLB rookie, and three MLB prospects to run through my formulas. Today we will be taking a look at 2022 NL MVP Paul Goldschmidt, MLB's number one prospect Gunnar Henderson, two top Cubs prospects Pete Crow Armstrong and Kevin O'Connor, and finally a big sleeper in the Giants organization Casey Schmidt. I will run all five players through the formula to see how they rank against my compiled data, as well as how they score on the all-time predicting superstars list. Now before we dig into the results, let me first explain how all of this works. I broke my data into two subgroups, group 1 being high school international players and group 2 being NCAA players. Here are the 13 superstars I used to compile my high school and international data. In the red bar below, you can see the average of the entire group for each stat. The stats I chose to use in this series are batting average, ISO, K percentage, K to walk ratio, stolen bases per plate appearance, and finally the age at which each player competed in a specific level. Now I did the exact same thing for NCAA players. Most college players were drafted around the age of 21, and they were automatically penalized on age level if I ran them through the high school international formula. This is the main reason I created two subgroups. If you guys want to take a closer look at this data, you can find the Excel sheet uploaded to my website at letstalkwax.com. I'll put a link to it in the description. Here are both formulas I used to calculate each player's score. Both formulas are exactly the same except for the data I compiled from the two subgroups. The black line with the arrow pointed to it is the average of the MLB Superstar stats from the two previous slides. The first white player bar would be where you would insert any player you are trying to measure. The middle gray bar shows the scales I used to equalize each stat and the bottom gray bar shows the differentials which lead to each player's final score. I created a defensive bonus for most games played at a certain position. Shortstops receive 30 points, catchers and center fielders get 25, third basemen get 20, second basemen and right fielders get 15, left fielders get 5, and first base and DHs get no defensive bonus. Here are three examples of how the formula works with Wander Franco, Mike Trout, and Julio Rodriguez. I simply plugged in their career minor league stats, adjusted the numbers via the scale, totaled up the differentials, and added a defensive bonus to come to my final score. Here are some things worth mentioning. Any score above zero indicates that a player performed above MLB Superstars numbers, and any score below zero shows that player performed under the MLB Superstars numbers. Negative scores are actually more common than positive scores, due to the fact that the Superstars numbers were so elite. The scores will also make more sense at the end of the video when you can see the all-time leaderboards. I think we should be ready to kick this thing off. As I mentioned before, I'll be running one past or present MLB superstar, one rookie, and three prospects. Our past or present MLB superstar of this episode is Paul Goldschmidt. One of the most prolific MLB bats in the last decade, Goldschmidt was National League MVP in 2022 after leading the NL in slugging percentage and OPS. He's played 12 seasons in the major leagues and recently became the 118th player in MLB history to record 300 home runs, 1,000 runs, and 1,000 RBIs. Goldie is among only 10 active MLB players with 300-plus home runs. The seven-time All-Star is the owner of four gold gloves and five silver slugger awards over his career. Across three minor league seasons, the Cardinals' first baseman hit 317 with a 303 ISO and really excellent K numbers. He gained the majority of his points in the average and ISO categories and lost the most points in K numbers, stolen bases per plate appearance, and age level. It's worth mentioning that it's extremely rare for players to gain points in the K percentage and K to walk ratio columns. You will notice that no one in episode 2 went positive in those two categories. Goldschmidt's differential was 48 and he was given no defensive bonus at first base, bringing his total to plus 48, the highest on this episode. Taking our rookie slot on this episode is Gunnar Henderson, MajorLeagueBaseball.com's number one prospect. Henderson will enter the 2023 season within rookie limits and is an AL favorite for Rookie of the Year. His minor league career was quite exceptional, if you can ignore his back half hiccup in high A and double A in 2021. He resurged in 2022, hitting just under 300 with 19 home runs and 22 stolen bases between AA and AAA before his late season call up to the big leagues. In his 132 plate appearances at the big league level, he hit 259 with a 181 ISO and quality K numbers. 
The back half struggles in 2021 really crushed his formula score, as he lost a significant amount of points between his batting average and K numbers. His age at call-up was quite linear with the superstars at 21.2, and he only lost a few points in that category. He juiced his score with plus power, gaining 17 points in the ISO column to bring his differential to negative 68. Henderson tallied the most innings at shortstop in the MLB, giving him a 30-point defensive bonus, which brought his final score to a negative 38, putting him in close proximity to the superstars' numbers. Now, before we get into our prospects, if you guys enjoy my videos and want to help support the channel, please check out my Patreon page. I've got lots of exclusive content over there, including detailed autograph checklist breakdowns of all Bowman releases from 2019 to the present, including 2022 Bowman Chrome and 2022 Bowman Draft. You can also check out my Top 100 Bowman Chrome Autos list and my Top 100 Bowman Chrome Autos under $50 list. Some other Patreon exclusive perks include a private Let's Talk Wax Discord server, early access to all of my video info, and free monthly giveaways. If you guys are interested and want to check it out and help support the channel, I'll put a link to it in the description. The first player among our three prospects is Casey Schmidt. Going into the 2022 season, many hobbyists may not have known this name, but after a blowout year, he's starting to gain a lot of traction. He was part of the 2020 draft class that was shut down during the COVID pandemic and didn't see much action in 2021 due to injuries. He played his first full season in good health in 2022 and put up some incredible numbers between high A, double A, and triple A. On the year, the San Diego State grad hit 293 with a 196 ISO and 21 home runs. Schmidt did a pretty decent job of keeping his K numbers down, but he did post a career high K to walk ratio of 2.5. If we look at the differentials, we can see that he lost points in every column, which isn't necessarily a bad thing considering who we're comparing him to. There were no drastic deficits with the exception of age level where Schmidt lost 55 points. It's extremely difficult for pre-COVID draftees to score well in the age level column due to the loss of an entire year of development. It's always something to keep in mind with this series. Schmidt's a minor league gold glove winner and plays an elite third base. He also received some reps at shortstop in 2022, which earned him a defensive bonus of 20. After totaling up all the numbers, he finished with a final score of negative 127. Our next prospect is Pete Crow Armstrong, or PCA for many of us in the hobby. PCA was drafted 19th overall in 2020 and didn't make his professional debut until 2021. After only a handful of games, he tore his labor, which required season-ending surgery. He played his first full season in 2022 and hit 312 with a 208 ISO, 16 home runs, 32 stolen bases between low A and high A. The Cubs' number one prospect kept his K numbers way below average for his age, but his K to walk ratio of 2.83 is something that I'll be keeping an eye on as he moves up in the farm system. PCA has a five tool ceiling with the ability to hit for average, power, steal bases, and play elite defense in center field. He's been a bit pool happy early in his career, posting a near 50% pool rate in 2022, but he makes a lot of hard contact with his exceptional lefty barrel quickness. He gained the majority of his points in the average and ISO categories and lost the most points in K numbers, stolen bases per plate appearance, and age level. The young Cubs slugger only took hits in three columns when compared to the superstars. K percentage, K to walk ratio, which no one ever scores well in, and age level, which had a lot to do with his season ending surgery in 2021. His present tool set in center field earned him a 25 point defensive bonus bringing his total score to a negative 24. Armstrong could have very easily scored in the positive if he hadn't missed both the 2020 and 2021 season. His K to walk ratio may get him in a bit of trouble in AA, but the five tool potential is still there. Our final prospect who was heavily requested on the YouTube channel is another young Cubs outfielder, Kevin Alconera. Alconera is the number three prospect in the Chicago Cubs organization behind Brennan Davis and Pete Crow Armstrong. He touts one of the highest ceilings in the Cubs farm system, standing at a towering 6 foot 6 inches with exceptional athleticism for his size. Alconer had an amazing 2021 season playing for two teams in the Complex League where he hit 345 with a 243 ISO across 138 plate appearances. He entered the 2022 season at age 19, and while his batting average took quite a dip, he maintained his above average raw power. The young Cubs slugger has maintained fringe K numbers throughout his career with a 2 plus K to walk ratio and a 25 ish K percentage. Most likely to begin the 2023 season in high A, we will get a better grasp of which way his K numbers will go in the upper minors. For me, Alconera seems to be a bit more projection over production at this point in his career. Many reports are banking on his future physical development to be the accelerant to his success. 
In regards to his score, he took the most damage in K numbers, where he lost 38 total points, and age level, where he lost 69. He received the 25-point defensive bonus for tallying the majority of his games in center field, bringing his final score to a negative 141. His final score solidified my statement of projection over production, but the projection is huge. Here are the final results for episode 2. Paul Goldschmidt was the only player to score in the positive this episode with a score of 48. As I mentioned before, negative scores are very common and only show how far away a prospect is from the superstar's numbers. I really expected Gunnar Henderson to take home the second place spot, but Pete Crow Armstrong scored 16 points better, leaving Gunnar with the bronze medal at negative 38. Finally, Casey Schmidt and Kevin O'Connor didn't make the podium after both taking a significant hit in age level. Here is the updated all-time leaderboard. Paul Goldschmidt cracked the top five at number four, while PCA and Gunnar Henderson snuck into the top 10 at eight and nine. If you guys want to see the entire all-time scores database, you can download the file over on my website at letstalkwax.com, where you can also receive the formula and all the data that I gathered on a PDF file. And as I mentioned before, if you guys want to help support the channel and unlock some exclusive content, head over to my Patreon page. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. And don't forget to head over to my website at letstalkwax.com to find downloadable data sheets for all of my videos. I want to give a quick shout out to all of my level three supporters over on Patreon, Max, Brad, Bruce Wiley, Chris Kwiatkowski, G Squared Collectibles, Castle Cards, Eric Alonzo, Graham Cochran, Jason Hall, Jonathan Asensio, Andrew Smith, Matthew, Jerry Rudolph, William Depew, Just Dingers Breaks, Kenny, Larry Canterbury, Lucas Benita, Sup Dem Bros, 909 Sports Cards, Max Antony, Michael McDonough, Mike Barrier, Tom Barda, Bird's Eye Breakers, Bo Davies, Christopher Gosinski, and Dan the Man. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out all of my other content. I really appreciate all the views. And I really appreciate all the support over on Patreon. If you guys have somebody you want me to run through the formula for the next episode, please post it in the comments. Y'all have a great day.